Hello everybody, welcome to my fourth tutorial on how to model with Blender. Now in this example, I'm going to show you how to model a teapot looking something like this using the uh, Bezier, Bezier Curves method, using a circle and a Bezier Curve. Okay, let's get right to it. First, let's clear this, All right, and get rid of the default box. And first, I'm going to create a curve, a mesh, a uh, Bezier Curve. All right again, I'm going to rotate this in the x-axis by 90 degrees, and then I'm going to spin it in the... Rotate again in the uh, z-axis by 180 degrees. All right, then I'm going to move this along the x-axis until uh, the tip right is slightly away from the center. Let's go to the top view. Okay, looking something like this. All right, so we'll go to the front view and we're going to edit this curve to form the profile of the teapot. So first of all, I'm going to select the top part here and I'm going to press G to grab it. And uh, I've learned a trick here. If you press Shift H, you can change the uh, properties of these handles to automatic. So right now, I can just move this along, and you can see the handles will just respond automatically. And I'm going to create the profile of the uh, teapot. So I'm going to hit Control and left mouse click to just draw the profile, all right, of the teapot, right. Maybe you're up here, and then maybe I just want to create on top. On top, I want to create a handle for the cap. Okay, and then the bottom here, I'm going to hit Ctrl to extrude another one here. And then apparently this one is not set to automatic yet, so I'm going to press Shift H, so now it's automatic. Control, and then finally close it up around here. And to unlock the handles, you just press H, and now you can adjust the handles of the Bezier curve. I actually can delete away this additional portion here. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to separate this so that I can have a separate cover versus a uh, the main pot itself. So I'm going to hide the handle so I can easily see where the two segments. I'm going to select these two. Press W to subdivide it, so I got a small gap. Okay, now I can get rid of this segment. Select these two uh, vertices. Press X to delete away the segment. All right, next thing I want to do is I'm going to select this spline. All right, I'm going to, pr going to press L to select only the licked portion. I'm going to press Shift D. So I basically create an outline. All right, just uh, move it out of the way slightly. I'm going to scale it down and move it inwards. I'm going to select these two and I'm going to press F to close them together. Okay, I'm going to select these portion here, grab it and then offset them a, a li little bit. So essentially I'm creating a hollow cover looking something like this. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing for the main part. Select this, press L so the entire uh, linked vertices are selected automatically. I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to move in inwards slightly. And as for these points, I'm going to grab and then move them inwards and then move them outwards like this. Now the reason I'm doing this so that um, it will have a hollow portion. So again, I want to join these two together. Press uh, Select both these vertices, press F and then they'll be joined together. I'm going to turn on the handles. I'm going to unlock the handles here and just Oops, just grab and move this until I get the shape, the shape I want, all right. Okay, just cover this. You can hear birds singing outside my room right now. <laughs> okay, so, all right, we got the uh, profile. So this is a very rough profile. You can spend more time to tweak it if you want. So the next thing you want to do is, uh, okay, making sure the cursor is right at the center, situated at the center of the uh, world axis. You're going to create a, and make sure you're in object mode, all right? Uh, make sure you're out of object mode. So add a curve, a circle. Oops, not this one. A Bezier curve. Okay, I want a Bezier circle. All right, so now I got this circle. And because the first curve I created the default name, if I open the transform property, is called curve. 
I can just straight away type the name into the uh, bevel bevel object for the circle. Right, so right now this time the curve is selected. I'm going to right mouse click and select the circle. And I want the bevel object to be the curve. So I just type in C-U-R-V-E curve. And straight away you should get a teapot object with a cover. See, ready. So the next thing you want to do is uh, right now if you go to wireframe, you see the detail is way too much. I'm going to reduce the resolution. The default is 12. I'm going to reduce it down to 12. Or rather reduce it down to 2. And for the curve, all right, I'm going to reduce it down to 2 as well. Okay, so you'll end up with this object. Now, if you look, if you see this black thing here, that means the normals are facing inside. You don't have to worry about it because right now this is technically still a curve. Right, so we select the uh, circle object, press Shift D to duplicate it, go to the X axis, go to bring it to the uh, right so we can isolate it. So this is still a curve, we got to convert this into a mesh object. So press Alternate C to convert it to a mesh. All right, so now you can see the normals are corrected and uh, you got a very basic shape for a teapot. Now we have to add the teapot handle and the teapot spout. So we go to the top. A uh, number of things we need to do, we need to rotate this, since this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 sided, okay, 8 sided uh, shape, we got to rotate it until the flat sides are facing the axis, so it makes the uh, extrusion a bit much easier. So to rotate this, going to hit 25, or rather 22.5 degrees, enter. And next thing you want to do is you want to press uh, Control A to apply the uh, new rotations as default. So basically you're resetting the rotation and scale information. All right, so now what we can do is we can start to uh, go to the polygon level and start to pull out the handle. So we're gonna select this uh, two faces, maybe, yeah, this face here. I'm gonna hit extrude. All right, so we got one, uh, face extruded out. So if we press one, so it'll be perfectly uh, aligned to the view. Okay, and you can just grab this and rotate it. You can hold on control and then just click to extrude. So this is the beauty about the uh, extrusion method. Hold the control and extrude again. Hold on control and then extrude again. Right. So now we got handle. Now don't worry about the thickness. We can fix this uh, later. So we had a find a face at the bottom here which we can join. Uh, the, together so this face looks fine so I'm gonna select these two faces and I'm gonna delete them away so just press X delete the faces right we're gonna switch over to the edge mode right mouse click select this edge here and maybe this I'm gonna go a bit closer select this okay if, if the back wire frame is very annoying you can click on this button the uh, occlude background geometry so that it's easier for you to select okay so this makes makes it easier okay now top edge is selected I want it to be joined to this top edge Again, the shortcut key to join these two faces together or create a face. Press F to fill. Now, this is really, really wonderful in uh, feature in Blender. Right mouse click to select this. Okay, I selected the wrong edge. I'm going to select this edge. And uh, hold on Shift to select these two edges. Press F again. Right, and then the rest is just simple. Select this two and press F. Select this two edges and press F. And then we have created our handle. If you go to the top view, we're going to fix this handle. Now let me unhide this occlude. I'm going to switch over to vertices. Alright, and I'm going to press border select. Press B and then just try to scale them down in the uh, Y axis here. Okay, so you can manually do this yourself. Alright, you can select these two faces for example and scale them down in the Y axis. So this is essentially tweaking, all right? So I got my handle down now for my spout. Okay, I'm doing this rather quickly because I want to meet the 10 minute deadline for YouTube videos. All right, so I'm going to select these, uh, uh, this bottom face here. Maybe I'll select these two faces here. Okay, I'm going to extrude region so that they will not be extruded as uh, individual faces. I'm going to do the front view again. And I'm going to scale them, but instead of using the uh, normal S scale, I'm going to use this uh, scale manipulator. But instead of global, I'm going to use normal. And if you scale this here, I can scale this flat. Grab and then move this out. Rotate this out slightly a bit. Scale it down manually here. Grab it here. And then again, using control and left mouse click, I can just extrude out okay, the 